hello everyone welcome back to crown geek so in this video we will be sharing that how to enable virtualization in the bios on your windows 10 and windows 11 and how you can fix any kind of gaming and the emulator problem now at many point while gaming while using any kind of emulator or while using the virtualization uh, you will have to enable the virtualization from your bios so i will share the proper way in order to do this but first you need to find it out that whether your PC support the virtualization or not. So for that what you can do you can just make a right click on the windows icon. Then from the list of suggestion you have to click on task manager. Now here from the top menu option click on performance. Now here on the right hand side you will find the virtualization option. Now if it shows enable then it means that your virtualization is already enabled. If it shows disable then it means it has been disabled and that what we will be enabling in this video but in case if you don't find this virtualization option or if you find the virtualization but it says not supported then in that case you have to understand that your pc doesn't support it so keep in mind that if the virtualization option is not displaying here or if it says not supported then in that case your pc doesn't support it but if it's support and it shows disable then what you will have to do next you need to start the computer in the bios mode so depending that what kind of motherboard manufacturer you're using the bios key can be different it can be any kind of f2 delete escape or f 2 l key you will need to find it out but i have already created a video that how you can create a desktop shortcut for the bios so that is a very effective shortcut where you can just make a single click and it will take you directly to the BIOS. You can watch that video. It just takes about a few seconds to create a shortcut and then you can directly reach to the BIOS. Now once you reach to the BIOS, you will have to find here some advanced options. On ASUS, you can see I can see at the right hand corner. So I will click on the advanced options. And then here again at the top, you have to look for the advanced option again and then you have to look and find the virtualization option now if you're using the intel processor then probably you will be getting an option like uh, enable the virtualization somewhere you will find the virtualization method to enable it in case of asus machine you may find the option of svm now this can be different on different kind of motherboard so you will have to find for the virtualization for the intel vt vtx amd v svm or vendor pool so this name can be different so you have to find out and this mostly is under the advanced option and in the cpu configuration all right so this will be by these names so you will have to find it out and just make sure that this option has been enabled now once this option has been enabled you can tap on the f10 key to save and exit and then you can exit out to the normal desktop now once you come to the normal desktop you have to make some changes more so click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key now here from the left hand menu option you have to find turn windows feature on or off click on it then here at the bottom somewhere you will find virtual machine platform so enable this option then you have to click on ok and then it will be applying the changes and then it will ask you to restart the computer so once the computer will now be restarting after that if you go back again in the task manager and check your virtualization at the corner you will see that it has been enabled so this is the best and the easy method to enable the virtualization and hopefully you will find this video helpful guys and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any doubt any problem any question then let me know in the comment section and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.